everyone, and welcome back to the stream. We are back. We are playing some more MLB. The show. Hey, everyone. It's Book Shabby. Welcome to the show. Uh, we will be picking this up here in just a moment. Hi. Hello. Batman. Did you know that SG is also known as Batman? Marvel. Besides being Batman, did you know SGS is also Steve Rogers aka Captain America? Smallville. SG also considers himself Clark Kent from Smallville but only a few people know who his Lois Lane is. Vegeta. Did you know SG is also the Prince of All Saiyans? Vegeta. SKCW. If you want to see what SKCW is all about. URL there you go though you must have to make an account on AMU to see any. Amazon. If you are looking for another way to support outside of Twitch, you can check out my Amazon wishlist at URL. Giveaway. The April 2022 giveaway will be a movie code giveaway provided we reach 100. For every 250 you will Welcome own one back. ticket John into Shabby the movie alongside code Chris team. Singleton, thanks for joining us. We're in the 7th with nobody out. The Braves have firmly established themselves as top contenders around halfway through the season. This is what was expected of them, Singy, and they backed it up. Uh, no doubt about it. These guys are rolling and in a great position so far, and they look like they're not going to be stopping anytime soon. That's a base hit. Off to a good start with a leadoff nod. Man, Siggy, he hit that ball right on the sweet spot. According to StatCast, the exit below 110 miles an hour. Yeah, Boog, I mean, that right there is an absolute missile. And he just put a great swing on it, squared it up perfectly. Those are the ones that feel really good. On the mound now, Taylor Widener trying to protect this lead. Now here is Dansby Swanson. Hit pretty well in the air out to center. Calls it in, one away. Now they got to decide, are they going to go out and add some help before the deadline, or do they think they have enough to make a deep October run as is? Back to the leadoff spot in the Braves lineup. Here's Acuna now. What a season it's been for him. He has supplied a lot of power and that average. Ronnie with a single base runner because of all the power they are dangerous to tie this thing up or take the lead okay. on the ah. left side six four what three. was the screaming it's for play, and that that play. Play. oh good job Back that's not good job Atlanta, that's bad here is bad. buddy kennedy well bad job then i don't know so Luke Jackson gets the call. Hasn't pitched in a while. All I heard was you say double play, so I assumed it was you. The pitch. That's why I went, ah! Because I screwed up. That's in for a okay. strike. Looks like he I sacrificed to pitch right down the middle for tracking and timing. Some good hitters will do that. Next offering is down low. That's Hopefully the stream don't crash because I noticed the Wi-Fi is long for you. Which makes me think that they're doing something. And the count because it seems to two. only be during the week. And yeah, only two time. strikes. That's a hit. Man aboard on the leadoff single. Well, that certainly feels good when I you can win it. the at bat after being I down in the count, would. up against it with two strikes. That's okay, right people there. just think Anytime I'm crazy. you rip a line drive the other way, you feel really good about what you did at the plate. You trusted your hands, you let the ball travel, and you took the barrel straight to it. That's great work right there. And he deals. Got the back going too soon. It's strike two. And another ball. And he 
and down on strikes he goes. One gone here. Well, it can be so tough as a hitter to pull yourself out of an extended slump, one that lasts for several games, even a week or more. Well, right now, yeah, he's really I mean, they think I'm crazy. One, so I'm sure his mind is all over the place, racing, having a hard time sleeping. Anyone that's watching the stream, I am not crazy, I assure track, you. Back to feeling more comfortable. There is somebody in else in this box. chat party, they're just not sharing their voice. So it just makes me Next appear to he's in for a strike. Well, no base hits in the series for him so far, and it's clearly been a rough one. You just hope he's not pressing too hard because that just compounds things. It makes the slump even longer. Never seemed to help. Never helped me. Swing and a miss, and he struck him out. And he's down on strikes for the second time today. And now the batter is Carson Kelly. And that's in there for strike one. Kennedy off of first with two away. Deal one is outside, and it's a ball and a strike. Next offering is in for a strike. Now this guy's got a great feel for his breaking ball today. Got him. And that is that. J.B. Wendelkin on a pitch out of the pen here. And he'll work on holding this lead. And welcome back. Now here is Ozzie Albies. And a pitch. Ah. On the ground. Lawler handles the chance. Leadoff man is out here in the eighth. Well, such a confidence boost for a reliever to come into the ball game and get the first hitter he faces. Just makes everything slow down a little bit, and then from there can really settle in. Well, they've kept him pretty quiet in this series. Still doesn't have a knock. I know. You want to get that first knock out of the way, maybe more will come, but you got to give some credit to the pitching staff. They've had a great plan against him. They're giving Matty Olsen a day off. Kind of sucks, but I'll respect it. And that one is lifted in the air. Makes the grab for the second out. Austin Riley, next up for the Braves. Put that 600 slugging into context. The league average usually in the low 400s. And the pitch. He swings and hits a fly ball. Center field. Carroll moving under it. Makes the grab and that'll end the inning. Braves go down. Set for the start of the inning. Jonathan VR up to hit. Here comes AJ Minter to the mound, and he'll do his best to keep this close. Well, I think that what makes him so tough against left-handers is he hides the ball for a long time, and from that same side, harder for you to determine which part of the plate it's going to end up on. Minter, he's one of those guys who uses the cut fastball as his primary offering, and when it's on, it can induce a lot of weak contact. The next pitch misses. And that's ball one. And the late movement on the cutter is really what makes it so effective because as a hitter, you make a decision whether you're going to swing or take a pitch before it actually gets into the zone. So that late movement causes it to miss the barrel of the bat, sometimes miss the bat entirely. The one-two. And a foul ball, he stays alive. Tell fans a little bit about the difference between a cutter and a slider. Well, a cutter looks more like a fastball, but it has that late movement like a slider that's hard to pick up. Now, with the slider, it's a little slower, the spin is different, and sometimes you can recognize that, and it tends to break a lot more horizontally and vertically than the cutter. Rojas watches that one for a strike, standing in here with one down. And he's down 0-2 as he swings through it. Ah! Next offering in the dirt. Going to count one and two. Swings. Go sit down. It's a strikeout. And there are two down. And the batter now, Josh Bell. A switch hitter batting right. In there for strike one. Not looking like they'll be adding any insurance runs heading to the bottom of the ninth. So it's going to be on the bullpen to hold this lead. Comes up empty on the swing. Oh, two now. Don't jinx me, bud. The next offering misses. And the count one and two. Kicks and deals. And a foul ball. 
And down on strikes. That ends the frame. Diamondback. Back now. And on the mound, the closer, Noe Ramirez. And he'll do his best to hang on to this lead. And the pitch. Base hit, center field. Clearly seeing the ball very well in this one. That's about as textbook as it gets. Got his stride and load out of the way early. He stayed inside that ball and screwed it up on. out front. Man, that was like he was in the cage hitting off a tee. Now a huge at bat in this game coming up. Making a move at first. Coming on to pinch run for Atlanta. Drew Waters. Here's Marcelo Zuna. First pitch, and that's in for a strike. Now, Boog, this is a real tough place for visiting teams to come in and close out ball games for a win. In the air, left side. That's back. Wow! Gone! Game oh, over! Game. Wow. I wasn't expecting that. Singy, they've made it look about as routine as it could be this season. I well, wasn't we're about expecting halfway that. through this boog, and they're pitch. showing no signs of slowing down. I love the fire, the hustle they're putting out there on every single play, every single day. They've got the goods. I am on fire. You know you want to play DVD and murder people. Let me play the pirates. Yes! 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 They're going to let me play the pirates in Pittsburgh. I am so excited. I, I'm down two runs in the ninth inning. That's not fair. And it, wow. So not only am I down two runs in the ninth inning, I'm down 9-7. There's one out in the ninth, right? And the bottom of my order is up. In other words, my worst hitters I have to play with. This isn't fair. Back here at the ballpark with Chris Singleton, I'm John Shambi. Thanks for joining us. This is ninth like, inning here with one away. This Next to like hit, Travis Darno. One for three. First offering and it just misses. Activity in the bullpen. Chris Stratton, the veteran right-hander, appears to be loosening up. Line drive, base hit. Waters headed for the plate. Check that, he'll stop at first with a single after putting on the brakes. Run comes in from second and it's 9-8. Big time at bat right there. Comes through, and they're back within a run. Nice job of driving that pitch the other way on a line. You know, hitters, they take so many reps in the cages working on going to the opposite field, and it doesn't always translate into the game, but right there it did, and he did it perfectly. So now it just comes down to situational hitting to get the tying run home. They've got a really great opportunity to do that. And now here is Dansby Swanson. Swing and that ball smashed on a line. The throw is off the line game. and he scores. And they tied it in the top of the ninth. So the batting order turns over. And here is Ronald Acuna Jr. Good contact guy, good defender. Oh, oh my God, I did it. Way I did it! There, on its way. I did it! On. That one felt good. Just like that, they move in front. It's 11-9. Singy, the ball is jumping off his back. Yes, it is. Tons of loud contact. Man, it's been impressive. On the mound now for the Pirates, Sam Howard. He's being eased into the game here with the bases empty. And now, Ozzie Albies. 
I did it. First I did it. I did it. I did it. Oops. I did it again. I hit a home run. And I'm about to win the freaking Swing game. Swing at a hard hit liner up the middle to base hit. Well, they put you in the situations. I'm sure he feels really good about that. That's what I was mad because they put me into like a really bad situation, long, but I managed man. to. So could every hitting coach in the league. Just a nice line Make drive into center field. Matt Olson up to the plate. That's hard hit on the line. And that is that. Zoning. Back here in Pittsburgh. Now batting key Brian Hayes. Kenley on here. He last pitched four days ago, so he should feel pretty fresh. The pitch. There's the strike. Oh, and two as he waves at that one. Sorry, battling bucks. You're and have to one and two. Night night On the ground, right side. Throw on to Olsen. One up, one down. Manuel Margot up to the plate. The right Foul ball. Next pitch is outside. And Marco able to spoil that one. One two to Marco. Swing and a miss. Struck him out. Two out. That cutter right there had Are just enough sure movement to do on the it rip to keep the swing stuff, and miss. Even though it's in a great location by any means, that's typically rip. a spot that hitters can handle. Rip. So Get you I'd extra say you fold them with just enough of that late action. Yeah, make sure you in the box you, with killer two challenges. Gone. And it takes a look at a called strike. And you can get extra blood points. Foul ball there. Two outs. Stays alive. Next one misses. It's a ball and two strikes. I'm afraid that. And a swing and a miss. And that is the ball game. My goodness. Are we gassy today or what? This morning it was one end, and now it's the other. Oh, you got that ghost face. You actually bought that? Wow. I did. Is that bad? Woo! The only one I liked. That's a lot well, of momentum. I like... What? I said I just got given a lot of momentum. They gave me like they gave me like eight red fires. I don't know what that means. That that's that's a, that's a lot of I'm fires. I'm assuming that's good. It's it it is good. Yes. No no no. Well, I have Martin Perez. I didn't sign him. And I didn't sign Willie Peralta either. So just like take these guys. No. No. July 4th. It's the 4th of July.
I am doing so much better this season than I did last season. I feel like, yeah, like I've only, uh, my team is 70 and 15, like, it's crazy how good they are this season. Back to Truist Park, welcome in John Shambi and Chris Singleton. We've got one out here in inning number seven. Back to the top of the lineup, and now it's Ronald Acuna Jr. Swing and he popped it up. He thought about it, but instead returns to second. Well, such a confidence boost for a reliever to come into the ball game and get the first hitter he faces. Just makes everything slow down a little bit, and then from there can really settle in. Rip to first, caught. Ah. Welcome back. Ready to begin the eighth. And stepping in for the Astros, Kyle Tucker. Out of the bullpen is Will Smith. It's his job to keep his team in the game. Well, I think that what makes him so tough against left-handers is he hides the ball for a long time. And from that same side, harder for you to determine which part of the plate it's going to end up on. Next offering is in for a strike. Got him. One away. Wow, short work to send it back in to start the inning and no messing around either. All three pitches were in the strike zone, attack mode all the way, and that's pretty impressive given the pop he was dealing with at the plate. Bregman stands in now and lets that one go for a strike. And it's even up. Shoots a line drive single into right center. He needed that one. It's been a tough stretch to the plate lately. That could be a dangerous pitch if you don't get it inside enough because as a hitter, you see it coming across the plate the whole way. No problem handling it and putting a good swing on it that time. Next offering is in for a strike. Bregman, the runner at first with one gone in the inning. The punch out there and now two gone. Well, that event seemed to be over as soon as it started. Three-pitch strikeout. You've got to be better at the plate right there, at least to foul something off, extend that at bat. Up the middle. Sends it to first. And that is that. That is that. Out of the bottom of the eighth. And now it's Matt Olson's turn to hit. Javier back to work and that one fouled off come on Maddie on the ah. ground right side and that is a big first out the new picture on here Phil Maton he's into the game with the bases empty here's the third baseman Austin Riley what a season it's been for him. Oh, we're oh, this tied. This ball is crushed into left field. It's on its way and gone. Austin Riley goes deep. Austin 316 says I just year, smashed that ball. And we're all square. It's 3-3. Three, three. One out, base is empty. Now it's J.D. Martinez. towards left center and that'll get down for a hit one down runner at first now the left fielder Marcelo Zuna in the first pitch misses for ball one one ball no strike Next ah. pitch has popped up. Pop Altuve up. under this one. Pulls it down and he makes the catch. Two down. 
That was a good pitch to hit right down the heart of the plate. Had pretty good timing on it. Just got underneath it a little bit and popped it up. Lined, and that's a base hit. And that moves the go-ahead run to scoring position with two gone. Now on the bump, Ryan Stanek. On for the 30th time this year. And here's the catcher, Travis Dardo. For the fourth time tonight. Ground ball, left side to second. Altuve, that's the third out. One scores in the inning, coming on this solo home run. We're tied now with three apiece. <coughs> All set to start the ninth in this one. So now the Astros designated hitter, Pedro Leon. So they turn to Craig Kimbrell. He last pitched four days ago, so he should feel pretty fresh. And a pitch. And first offering is fouled off. And he's down 0-2 as he swings through it. Next pitch is outside. Well, that's kind of what you expect in an 0-2 count. Excellent job of the hitter to have to play discipline to lay off of that pitch. Next offering is fouled back. Right-handed reliever. You see how the catcher wanted that pitch up and in. Want to try to tie him up. That's the one thing we're seeing, that high fastball. You have to get it up there because of how hitters have changed their swings. 2-2 Two -two now. That's down and in. Definitely got the hitter conscious of the pitch inside. Really think the outer half is open. Fouled off again, and it remains three and two. Here comes a pitch. And a foul ball, he stays alive. Righty delivers. Stays alive. And the righty deals. And a swing and a miss. And he's down on strikes for the second time today. Daniel Vogel back at the plate. That one ripped. Hits the top of the wall. Well, a swing like that can help you come out of this struggle. We saw the numbers coming into the ball game, but all he's trying to do at this point is help his team win. And first offering is fouled off. Next offering is in for a strike. Next one misses, and it's one and two. They tried to get him to go, chase the pitch down and away, but he wouldn't bite. Swing and a miss, struck him out, and two away now. Jake Myers up next for the Astros. That one's in there, 0 and 1. And I know you want to be patient as a hitter, but you got to be ready to jump on the first thing straight. And he got one right there, but left the bat on his shoulder. Next offering is fouled back. Here's the 0-2. Fought off foul. Meyer stays alive. High in the air, out to right. Diaz makes the grab, and the inning. And welcome back. Ready to go for the last half of the inning. And the batter will be the shortstop, Dansby Swanson. The pitch. And first offering is fouled off. Kicks and fires. Out towards right center field. Tucker under I'm it. I'm okay. And it's caught for the out. Ronald Acuna Jr. getting ready to hit. And first offering is fouled off. No, I'm not stupid. I would take out the totals. Right-hander kicks deals. And now it's even up. Trying to keep good speed off the bases.
Ah! Foul ball. Neener, neener, neener. Pitcher's got a big booty. Out to short. They get the out on Acuna. He didn't like saying I had a big, he had a big ass. And now it's the switch hitting second baseman, Ozzy Albies. First offering misses the mark. Dun, da, da, dun, 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 dun. The pitch. And oh, foul ball. foul ball. All tied up here at the last half of inning number nine. That one to first, and it's through for a hit. Base hit. So two down. Matt Olson, the next to hit. Can we say night night sushi time? And there's something you don't see very much in today's game, the pitch out. They're like, no. Yeah, I'm surprised we didn't see a visit from the pitching coach here. Just to remind him, focus on the hitter. Don't worry about anything else. Trying to send this extra innings. Swing and a high fly ball out there towards left field. Ah, it's going to hang up. Makes the catch, inning over. Back here in Atlanta, new inning getting started. Here's Jordan Alvarez. Tyler Matzik will take over on the mound. He has a great slider with tons of movement. And he deals. And that one off the outside edge. That's where you want it. It's a good miss. And there's the strike. One ball, one strike. Next one pitch two. misses. Ball two. When you get to this part of the order, yeah, there's some pop there, but more likely there's some base hits. So very important to be patient. Let the pitcher walk you, if he will. Left-hand batter waits. And that one wrapped foul. Next offering is foul back. Right through there, got it. Down on strikes, and he knew it. Here's Kyle Tucker. Well, we saw a solid effort out of their starter, and the bullpen is following suit. It's just a good day as a manager or as a pitching coach when you can hand the ball off to multiple arms and get stability from all of their performances. Comes up empty on the swing, 0-2 now. The next pitch misses, and that's ball one. Got him swinging. Back-to-back -back strikeouts. Chance to strike out the side now. You talk about the benefits, the advantages of relievers who can come in and get the swing and miss, whether it's inherited runners or maybe a little jam that they get into themselves. Knowing that they can miss the bat, tell you what, that's huge and can change the ball game. That one drilled left field. Back there. That's not gone. Alex Bregman sends it out. His 19th home run of the year, and they jump out front. It's 4-3. Goodrum takes a strike there as he stands at the plate now. 0-2 as he waves at that one. Okay, from here, he's got to treat this as a clean inning. Forget about the fact that his team is now down by a run. In the air to left center. Racing makes the catch. And that's the third out. Alex Breckman brings the power for Houston. And well, we're back. And on the mound is the closer, Taylor Rogers. The offense will need to be ready for the breaking stuff. He's got a great curveball. The pitch. Riley Woo! swings through that one there. Well, the hitter looked pretty comfortable on that swing. Pitchers don't like to see that. Let's see how he changes it up on this next pitch. Out to short. Can't glove it cleanly. To first, and he just gets it there in time. One away. So up next, J.D. Martinez. Another solid power season. 
First pitch doesn't find the zone. Now, Boog, this is a real tough place for visiting teams to come in and close out ball games for a win. Ah. And that one fouled off. Come on, baby. Ball to strike. Left field. That's back. Gone! Johnny, and it's gone. J.D. Martinez takes it deep. Home run number 20 on the year, and we're starting over. It's 4-4. One down. Now in for the Braves, Marcelo Zuna. Doesn't, doesn't surprise me. Bounced up the middle. Altuve slings to first, and there's two down. Let me Diaz now. Yeah, to me it depends on how the survivors play. If they play like assholes, I show no mercy. But if in the air, yeah, if they're, if they're not assholes, left center, I'll usually go easier. And he makes the catch, and that will end the inning. Just one when hit. I mean, the I, inning, when I actually play, a, big a, right a lot here, of times I don't it play. It ties the ball game. It's now if I do play a good round, and I'm back here at the ballpark. Now we go to the 11th. Here's Corey Lee. Matzik back to work. Yeah, there's the strike. There it was. Oh, oh, here it is. Hit it. He gets a take. Gets ahead in the count. And he's down 0-2 as he swings through it. Look, it looked like that curveball backed up on him, and although it's a mistake, it works out really good for the pitcher. The hitter has timed it up, expects it to be to a certain spot, and it just doesn't get there. Now here's the Astros' designated hitter, Pedro Leon. And that's in there for strike one. All tied up here in extra innings. Comes up empty on the swing, 0-2 now. Great velocity at 97 at the top of the zone. Gonna count one and two. Next one in the dirt. The pitch. Got him looking. And that quickly two away. Well, he's gonna have some thinking to do when he leaves the ballpark after this one. That was his third strikeout, and this one looking obviously, so he's been a little overmatched. He's gotta find a way just to be more competitive up there at the plate. There's a strike. One ball, one strike. Swings and misses. And it's one and two. Swing and a miss. And that is that. Astros. Gainer Diaz getting loose there. He's now in the game at first. Back at Truist Park. Here's the catcher, Travis Dardo. And the pitch. Now a high fly ball out to left center. One up, one down. Out. And next for Atlanta, Dansby Swanson. Hard liner. He can't get there, and that should be extra bases. Makes and it to second. The double. winning runs in scored position with one gone. So digging in, Ronald Acuna Jr. This guy with light tower power. Good room over to first. And Acuna retired. Now the number two hitter, Ozzy Albies. And that one is lifted in the air. Way back there, it's got a chance. Game over. Walk off home run.
back and forth ball game. You get to extra innings. It seems like every guy is trying to. Tyler Matzik gets the win. Taylor Rogers takes the defeat. He's very, very angry. He's like, Rrr. but that's okay. You deserve the defeat, my friend. No, we're not calling up William Woods. William Woods sucks. Well, aren't we a sweat? You're an overachiever. I think that's what, what you should start calling you. You, at Dead by Day, like, killer. Yeah, you're an overachiever. I'm an overachiever? Because you're Welcome doing better back. than I John would. John Chambi alongside Chris Singleton. Thanks for joining us. We're in the seventh with nobody out. So now to the plate for Atlanta. Matt Olson. Got to be careful with this guy. He's got power. He can untie it with one swing. On a line. One away. Now the Atlanta cleanup hitter, Austin Riley. This guy has turned into a beast. If you're a base runner, you got to stay dialed in here. Look for anything in the dirt. Try your best to get in a scoring position. Number three. That is called being a sweat. Activity in the bullpen for the Brewers. John Curtis, the hard throwing righty, is up and loosening. Strickland warming up as well. This to center field. Fraley has this one sized up. Makes the grab. And there's two away. And now JD Martinez. Lifted in the air, right center field. Fraley in position. Drops into the glove. And the inning. The inning is. We go to the eighth. Digging in. Tyrone Taylor. The wind of the pitch. That one fouled off. And the right hander deals. Fought off foul. The line to kick the pitch. And ball one. Swing and a miss. Struck him out. And now one away. Came inside with that two-strike fastball nicely and just bunched him up on the inside part of the plate. Couldn't get around on it and catch it out front. Many times if you do, it's a foul ball. And you know a lot of pitchers, they really don't like working inside with two strikes because they do Why not want to hit that batter. And when they've got him up against the ropes, got to figure out a way to put him away. Did a nice job right there. The line of the pitch. Got him. Two gone. So the lineup flips over. Here's Yelich at the dish. Slice the other way. That's a base hit. Oh 
No mercy shown, no mercy given. Go ahead, run on base. Cobra Kai all and the way. And now the center fielder, Sal Fraley. He like Cobra Kai. Cobra Kai one. never died. Next offering is in for a strike. Love how vocal the umpire is today. No doubt in the hitter's mind, catcher's mind, and even the pitcher's mind as to the conviction in the call. Left-hand hitter waits. Ground ball up the middle. They take the force out, and that is that. Back now, new pitcher on the mound as we roll into the bottom of the eighth, John Curtis. On for his 40th appearance of the year. Welcome back. Here's the left fielder, Marcelo Zuna. And a pitch. There's a swing and a drive. This one's got a chance. That's gone. And out of here. A shot to left is 11th of the year. It's 2-1. So up next, Eddie Rosario. He did. Apparently that was third for him. <clears throat> Next pitch has popped up. Adamas throws the first. One gone to the bottom of the eighth. Travis Dardo. Next up for the Braves. Ah. Muncy settles underneath it. He's got it. Two down. Let Miss Diaz now. Out there to center. Freeland moving under this one. And that is that. Braves get one on the big fly. Last chance coming up for the Brewers. And welcome back. We go to the ninth. And now it's Max Muncy. Kenley Jansen into the game. Hasn't pitched in a while. He's had the last five days off. And here it comes. And it's found away. Next offering is in for a strike. Really good cutter that he's able to front door and back door. That pitch is devastating. Hear that? I'm able to front door and back door this guy. You too. Yeah. And a foul ball. Going oh two now. Slapped foul. The tying run at the plate. You might have to slide in the back door to take him out. And he'll two. Ah, he's he alive. Fouled it off. He was like, no back door for you, sir. Next offering is foul back. Bell having such a tough time putting him away. Six foul balls in a row. Man, what a battle. He swings and fouls one off. And a swing and a miss. Down on strikes. You must sit down, now sir. One in the ninth. Now it's Hunter Renfro. In there, and it's 0-1. Crowd locked in right now. One run game here in the night. I gotta say, I love playing this. Swings through that one. It's just go sit down. That's out number two. Yeah, well, don't stare at me. Go sit down. down. And he strikes Bum. out the first two hitters. It's hard not to feel defeated. And then he's standing there and he's like, Are you sure that was a strike? You swung at it, idiot. Choke up on the bat, spread out, put the ball in play, and maybe you can extend this inning. You swung, you missed. Oh, and two as he waves at that. You don't one. get strike four. More, and more guys are looking to slug regardless of the count. In this situation, we'll keep a close eye on this approach. Towards first. Steps on the bag himself. Ball game. We win.
First half is over. I already did this. Now, see, now these are interesting trades. I do like this trade right here. So I give up Poscar again a while. Verdugo. We're doing it. Yes, we went to adjust. Yes, we're going to move Kyle Wright to the bullpen. Welcome to the ATL, Zach Wheeler. Who all right? Who? I'm fine. Why would I not be all right? Bottom of the Great. first. Now it's going to be Christian Yelich. I just made a, a big pitch. trade. And I got a guy I don't really need off. necessarily, but he kind of puts me over the top. To the right side, Olsen handles the chance. Takes it himself. One gone, bottom half of the first. So I am all about trying to put myself over Sal Fraley, now at the plate, looking for better results than last night. He went 0 for 4. First pitch, and that's in for a strike. Out there on the mound, he's setting the tone early with the fastball, 98 miles per hour up on the scoreboard. And fouled off. One down, base is empty. Swing and a miss. And he's down on strikes. Out number two. Max Muncy at the dish. The first baseman. Max. And there's a foul ball. Two down, nobody on. And a foul ball. Two down now. The pitch. Got it. And good work there as he gets a one, two, three. Bottom of the second. And here's the veteran outfielder, Hunter Renfro. Going one. Hunter. Oh, one's the count. Renfro. 
And he's down 0-2 as he swings through it. Got some cut action to it. Velocity pretty good on that slider. So far, moving the ball around nicely. Yeah. And a swing and a miss. Yeah. And one away. Do. Dominating strike out there on just three pitches, and that's what a good power pitcher can do to you. He's hitting his spots, filling up the strike zone. Sometimes he bats over before it really begins. Willie Adamas comes up empty with a swing there, batting here with one away. Second inning here, no score. And down on strikes he goes. So what happened with their boyfriend? Adamas down on strikes. Omar Narvaez at the plate. Why? Yeah, there's no doubt, Boo. Electric stuff from the jump. I mean, there's just no messing around right now. It's still very early, mm -hmm. but we could see a pretty impressive outing here if the strikeouts keep coming in the way they are. One thing you have to be aware of, though, is a high strikeout rate might impact the pitch count as the innings roll on. Bounce to the left side. Gathers and throws to first. That is the back here in Milwaukee set for the bottom of the third up now for Milwaukee Luis Urias and first offering is fouled off oh your future in law and deals <laughs> Urias checks his swing now it appeal to first and he went around says Ricky Holiday I have to make get a pitch and a foul ball he stays alive wow he got away with I, mistake I right figured there. it would be cry first considering considering her daughter's like missed. staying up Struck at three in the morning out. talking to people lead off hitter her gone to the third and I'm like Tyrone cry you got to take control of that. In now well, that's a curveball that people like to describe as a hammer or Uncle Charlie, and you can see why. It's not a looping slow curve. He throws it hard, and it gets plenty of bite on the end. Yeah, now the one. That's where that's where there's a problem. Like little kids should not be Foul talking to there. people on the internet. That's where you get in trouble. Okay, in school that's okay. And a pitch. That's different. But I'm talking like internet. That's no, no, no. Swings and misses. Two up, two down. Looked like he reached back and got a little extra on that one. Triple digits on the miles per hour through the zone. No chance of touching that one. At the play, Tyler Black. Pitch misses inside. Ball one. Yeah, I don't know. Next offering is fouled back. And that's coming from me who has dated online. You know, like, it's, there, there are a lot of weirdos on the internet. So a foul ball makes it one and two. You don't, you know, gotta know, make sure who you're talking two to. Two outs. Anybody. And children are not smart enough to make those. Swing and a miss. Struck him out. The big righty strike. Back here at American That's Family awesome. Field. Bottom of the inning. Now it's Christian Yelich. And that one wrapped foul. The next offering misses, and it's a ball to strike. Strike two. Well, baseball is coming out of his like hand. With me, it's easy well. to know that I am who I say I am corners, because I really could ride at the top of the zone. Hitters have to respect that. Day. Very difficult pitch to hit. That one pushed foul. And of course, we all know Grandma is Grandma. A good fastball right there. Just couldn't catch up. Too. One and two now. Swing and a miss. The velocity blasted it right past him. Well, when you commit to throwing an inside fastball to your glove side and cross the strike zone, especially with two strikes, if you're going to miss, you want to miss off the plate in. You do not want to leave it out over the heart of the plate. So that was excellent execution on that pitch. Really tied him up, and he couldn't get a piece at all. Next offering is in for a strike. Hey, let's go right here. The punch out there, and he's down on strikes for the second time today. 
Here's Max Muncy, that funky Muncy. Scoreless here, but now he's got to deal with a guy who's got some power. Got to be careful when you're talking about a hitter with this type of slug and these type of home run totals. Comes up empty on the swing, 0-2 now. Hey, plays it first, plays it first. Swing and a miss, and he struck him out. And Milwaukee. Why are you concerned? Back here at the ballpark, Hunter Renfro at the plate. The right-hander back to work. Pitch misses there, ball one. He's been pitching well, but going through this middle of the order second time through, we'll see what kind of adjustments are being made. So that one TikTok I sent you about Disney, they actually, that is real. I went on YouTube and, and YouTubed it, Mouse Pack, and literally there is, like, there's like seven songs of Mickey, Donald, and Goofy singing. Like classic songs. The throw to first, and the leadoff hitter retired like, in the dang, I can't believe that. Well, he's doing a nice job of keeping the ball out of the air, lets the defense work behind What's him next? with another ground ball. Mickey Mouse singing, Oops, I did it again. Popped up. You, 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 you take it. Albies makes the play, and there's two away. Two yeah, outs, bases empty. Here's the Brewers catcher now, Omar Narvaez. And that's in there for strike one. Now this guy is just filling up the strike zone right now. Don't want to get yourself in an 0-2 hole. You better be ready to pull the trigger on the first pitch. Next offering is in for a strike. This guy's not wasting any pitches. Hitters got to get into swing mode. This is a good time to expand the zone. Throw something maybe down in the dirt. Next offering is fouled back. The pitch stays alive. Hey, come on now. Look out! Oh, and it hit him. He had two strikes on him, and he hit him. As a hitter, I'll take that all day long. An off-speed pitch. It's not well, going to my the cage too game. much. Urias hey, looks two. at a strike. Second trip to the plate for him. Next offering is in for a still strike. Got a no -hitter Perhaps right. not quite ready to hit. First two pitches by him for a couple of strikes. One, one, now one. back is against the wall. It's going to happen. And there's the third out. That'll do it for the inning. First grand one. Well, we go bottom six. Up now for Milwaukee, Tyrone Taylor. Foul ball. When a guy's throwing a lot of first pitch strikes as a hitter, you got to be ready to hit. Now, that's not going to help you get deep into his pitch count and ah. the in there, base hit. And the bid for history relay, is gone. Me, and no into second here. easily with there a leadoff no double. Hitter. Well, the last 10 games or so have been anything but fun at the plate for him, so that one has to feel good. Good piece of hitting going the other way with that pitch to beat the shift. You know, not a lot of guys are willing to do that, even with the shift on, because they're looking to pull the ball with authority. But it's a pretty easy hit if you want it. And you can feel this crowd waking up a bit here as the guys are starting to make some noise with their bats. One ball, two strikes, Miguel. Here's a one-two. And a foul ball. Got him. Not what you're looking for after the leadoff double. A strikeout, and there's one away. And now it's Christian Yelich. And the first pitch misses for ball one. Taylor over at second, one down. That's up, that's up. Popped up to the left, into foul ground. Yelich out on the play, and there's two away. No, oh, that was a pitch you got to crush. Unbelievable that he missed it right there. And I'm telling you, he is going to be frustrated with himself until his next at bat. Fraley looks at one inside as he stands in for the third time. Next offering is in for a strike. And it really looks like these hitters have been in between with their timing today. Good fastball, excellent slider, but they've not been able to commit to one velocity and stay there. Here's a one-two. In the air, left field. He's got it, and that'll end the inning. 
Welcome back. And now it's Max Muncy. The pitch. The first baseman. That one's in there. It's 0 1. I'm in the seventh inning. That fastball at the bottom of the zone can be very effective. Just got to keep it on the corners. And a swing and a miss. The hat trick. So he's gotten deep into this game. And at least so far, not showing a ton of signs of fatigue. Renfro now in the box comes up empty with a swing there. Keeper was on. She was playing double double e to get to two. And a foul ball left side. Well, on the mound, very efficient, able to produce yep. an outcome. I it told seems her she like needs to play the with the travel pitch of just about every at bat. That's up, that's and a pop up, up right side. And then she could acknowledge the travel chief. No trouble here. Puts it away for the out. And there are two outs. Willie Adamas stands in. That one's in there, 0 1. You know, this manager knows that his players are just trying to do too much. Everybody needs to just take a deep breath, relax, and let it naturally happen. 0 oh, 2 as he waves at that one. You hear that? You just got to let it naturally happen. And a swing and a miss. And that's that. Said. Nobody. On baseball, they just said you just got to let it naturally Milwaukee. happen. And now the catcher comes up to him. Omar Narvaez. That's what I'm doing. I'm just letting Wheeler you back kick their Wheeler. ass naturally happen. Swing and a miss. And that's strike I one. traded for These this guy, Zach Wheeler, really from the Phillies. Early in the I, count, I gave up a lot to down. get him, but like that I said, I didn't need him. Take some pitches. But see if you can extend those at-bats and get some base runners on. I was like, this Makes could the catch. be overkill. So they're like, okay. Well, player take control of him the and bat for the and hitter play. right there i mean that pitch was and right down what did the i do I here think he got a little too excited almost came i had a perfect game into the fifth i had a no hitter into the sixth and up. i'm in the eighth inning and i got a one him. hitter Orioles. swings through one there I'm throwing a gem next offering is in for a strike man 91 on the slider right there that's a hard one that's a low end fastball for some guys and down on strikes now two away. A big performance on the mound. Lots of strikeouts. That was number 14. Yeah, clearly trusting his stuff in this one, Bird. Feeling really good about what he's working with, and that really allows a guy to attack hitters. You know, such an important mindset to have out there on the mound, especially when you're ahead in the count with two strikes. Righty delivers. And that one fouled off. Swing and a miss, and he got him. That's the inning. Three up. And welcome back. Here's the second baseman, Tyler Black. Here comes a pitch. And first offering is fouled off. The pitch. This one popped up. Takes it in for the out. So the batting order turns over. Here's Yelich at the dish. In there for strike one. And he's down 0-2 as he swings through it. That was straight queso right there. And now just two outs away. Swing and a miss. Struck him out. Two away now. Went right after him with that two-strike pitch as he continues to roll on the mound. Yeah, he's not out there trying to nibble at all. He is attacking the strike zone. And I think when your confidence builds as the start goes on, still putting up all zeros on the scoreboard, it gives you a lot of confidence that you can really continue to go after these hitters. And that wasn't the best pitch for the strikeout there. And he probably 
He's got it. Ball game. And the Braves get a shutout on the mound. He really impressed in his first game with his new team today, throwing up zeros all over the scoreboard. Yeah, Boog, he was absolutely dealing out there on the bump today. And it seems like every year teams trade for pitchers and hope they can catch lightning in a bottle with the guy. Well, today he showed some sparks out there, and that's a big pickup for this team if he continues pitching like he did today. Jacob Stallings. Back here at the Friendly Confines with Chris Singleton. I'm John Shambi. Thanks for joining us. Nobody out here in inning number eight. The Braves are out to a healthy lead the division looking really good. Singing with the trade deadline coming up, do you think they're set to go as is? Or do you think they need to add some more firepower? Well, I think the way that the game operates in this day and age, Boog, I mean, teams making big additions at the deadline, and you just see it can be a flurry of moves. I'd be surprised if they just stayed with the roster they have. I think they could have a big deal in the works. In half, up to hit. Pretty big strikeout right there to start this eighth inning. Down one. Any leadoff base runner really makes this inning. Sneaks through. Base hit. Well, a big swing of the bat right there. Really nice job staying up the middle with his approach. He didn't try to do too much with the pitch. Just shot it through the infield. Now a huge at bat in this game coming up. Schwindel stands in here, leaves that one off the inside. And a swing and a miss. A big trade pickup doesn't guarantee postseason success, of course, but it rarely hurts to at least make your team better on paper. Got him! And there's two away. Boog gets talked about a lot, but a good high fastball in a two-strike situation, it's just become such a problem for hitters in more recent years. But with all of the emphasis by pitchers on developing that spin rate, having a good grip on the baseball, those high fastballs 
They kind of look like to the hitter that they're rising, even though they're not, but they're not decreasing in velocity and spin rate. So very difficult to get the barrel on. In the dirt, blocked. Hat off of first with two away. Just missed. If he's able to connect on that, look out. Swing and a miss, and that is that. Back here at Wrigley Field, all set for the start of the inning. Now in for the Braves, Dansby Swanson. With a right hater back to work. That's the third. Fires over to Schwindel. And a quick out number one. And here is Ronald Acuna Jr. Here's a swing and a drive left field, and he knew it. Home run. He's done it again. His second homer of the game. And they add a run. It's 5-3. When you're lacking velocity, it's so critical that you move the ball around, change speeds, even try to trick the hitter at times. But when you give up a home run right there, manager doesn't have a lot of patience because the velocity is not there to overcome and get the swing and miss. And it's fouled away. Right-handed reliever. A rope into right, and that's a base hit. A couple of hits in a row for him here. Solid swing from start to end. On time with everything. Really good balance. Nice extension. And he met it out front for the line drive knock. Here is Matt Olson. That one hammered center field. That's back. Pulls it in on the warning track. Here's Austin Riley. What a season it's been for him. He has supplied a lot of power and that average. Davies checks over to first, and he's back. Swings through that one. 0-1. Oh Everyone can have a little chuckle there. He's had such a great season. Rarely ever do you see that kind of swing. That one the other way. Corner. Whips it to first on the run. And that is the third out of the inning. But add on one more as the solo shot stretches their lead even further. It's now a... Back here at the ballpark, now it's John Hicks. Kenley on here, and he'll work on holding this lead. Hey, look, we'll see how it factors in. I just can't emphasize how much that insurance run in the top of the ninth means. I mean, just such a big difference mentally when you're chasing two runs instead of one. Chop back up the middle. Albies picks it up, gets it to first. One out, bottom of the ninth. So up now for Chicago, Sergio Alcantara. And he swings and misses at the initial offering. Comes up empty on the swing, 0-2 now. Swing and a miss. Struck him out. Now two out. Back to the leadoff spot in the Cubs lineup. Here's Nico Horner. Next pitch has popped up. Jansen drifts towards it. He's got it. Ball game. And the Braves take the finale here. They win the series three games to one. They pad their division lead with yet another win.
Singy, coming up on the trade deadline, they look really solid. Yeah, they do. And that means they've got a lot of decisions to make. I mean, there's plenty of talent on this roster already, but you never know. And, and maybe they make a move and try to get that last piece to complete that championship puzzle. Oh boy, what a unique situation this is. They're putting me into a situation where it's the bases are loaded for the other team. Uh, there are two outs. So. And we welcome you in already two away but here still. in the seventh. John Chambi with Chris Singleton. It's a rough spot. Peterson able to hold up on that one. Next offering is in for a strike. That one down the line, down the line, and it's foul. That one misses, and the count's even at two. Struck him out. Good job of damage control right there. Zach Davies gets the ball now, and his job is to collect quick outs and keep his team within striking distance. The pitch. And first offering is fouled off. And the righty deals. Rolled softly, but that goes foul. 0-2 now. Not even close there. Now 1-2. Pretty standard high 0-2 fastball right there. If you're smart, to look for something down. Hammer down the line, and now maybe extra bases. Takes the turn, he's digging for second. And he greets the new arm from the bullpen with a double. A little more backspin on that instead of the top spin. And he's jogging around the bases rather than pulling up at second. And now it's Travis Darno with the play. On the ground to the left. Fires over to Schwindel, and one away in the bottom of the seventh. Yeah, the batter now, Dansby Swanson. And Boog, I'd say he's due. In the air, out towards right center. Thought about third there, but throws on the brakes two away now. <laughs> 
Zubia. Zubia. Out to short. In plenty of time to first. They get the out on a... For the top of the eight. And here's the catcher, John Hicks. At the bullpen is Will Smith. This southpaw has been really good against left-handed hitters. Well, I think that what makes him so tough against left-handers is he hides the ball for a long time. And from that same side, harder for you to determine which part of the plate it's going to end up on. Rosario makes the grab. One pitch and one out. So now a pinch hitter, Jan Gomes. Looking to start something with one gone. Oh, now this one's high and deep. Way back there. On its way. Gone. Jan Gomes hits one out. It's his sixth home run of the season, and we're level. It's 4-4. Here's Jason Hayward. First pitch, and that's in for a strike. Next offering is in for a strike. Kicks and fires. Check swing, and that's a ball. Gosh, Boog, I think he's trying to deep the pitcher. There's no way he's thinking he can hit that pitch. That to right. And there's two down. Oh, we got redemption. Hydrate and Batman. And Stepping in is the speedy Nico Horner. First offering, and it just misses. Foul off down the right side. And a pitch. Not the best swing that time from the first round pick. Trying to keep good speed off the bases. Next offering is foul back. Yeah, when they cancel the match like that, that's what happens. Got him looking, and that'll do it. But some late-inning heroics as this home run gets us even again. All even now at four-piece. James Triantos, he's the new shortstop as he comes in as a defensive replacement here. Back at Truist Park, ready for the bottom of the eighth. Leading off, Ozzy Albies. The wide to kick the pitch. Swing and oh! This one is crushed. No doubt about it. And here in the late stages, they have the lead. Ozzy Albies goes yard. And they grab the lead. It's 5-4. Uh, just like that, I'm back. That pitch was intended to stay inside, but it leaked out over the middle of the plate. Hitter waited on it, and he connected just perfectly. 
That dude just hung it, and I just And smashed now it. Matt Olson up to hit. Tapped at the plate, but it's a foul ball. Okay, from here, he's got to treat this as a clean inning. Forget about the fact that his team is now down by a run. Swings through that, and it's a strikeout. And that's the first out. Nice recovery after giving up the homer. Austin Riley next up for the Braves. Swing and a ball ripped out towards right center field. That'll touch down for a hit. Around first and hustling for second. And he's in with a stand-up double. Love how he let that ball travel, trusted his hands. Nice job of going the other way. Dan Martinez. J.D. swinging a drive. Deep left field. Banks off the wall. Throw comes in quickly as the lead runner at third gets the stop sign. Went up there looking to be aggressive and got something he could handle. Absolutely blasted that one into the gap, but just didn't have quite enough to clear the wall out there. Maybe a little more elevation under it, and it carries over. This one squared uh. up down the left field line. If it's fair, it's gone. It's fair, and it is gone. That was a moonshot. His 13th home run of the season, and they throw three on the board. It's 8-4. Zingy, he's been red hot. Yeah, another big swing of the bat for him. Man, he is really seeing the ball well in this one. Pitching change here, Cody Hoyer. He's being eased into the game here with the bases empty. Here's Eddie Rosario. On a line, base hit. Now he turns and heads for second. In safely, it's a double at his second hit. And here is Travis Darno for the fourth time tonight. This one popped up. Foul ground first base side. Takes it in for the out. Dansby Swanson stands in. Shortstop. Dansby. Swanson. Ripped on a line. He can't get there. It's a base hit. The run comes in to score from second. It's now nine to four. Well done. Drives in the run. A lot of hitters tell themselves, line drive over the infielder's head. That's what I'm trying to do. Just keep that approach simple. And right there, it was perfectly executed. On time with everything and pulled it into the gap nicely. And makes the play, and that's out number three. And welcome back. All set to start the ninth in this one. Now the third baseman, David Bodie. And a good fastball to start him off. That's strike one. 0-2 oh as he waves at that one. He can live up in the zone all game if guys will chase it. That's just too much velocity. Hitters got to look down in the zone. And the pitch. And a swing and a miss. Down on strikes. Now one away. Well, he didn't get the call on the mound the pitch before. Felt like he should have had him look it, I think. But, you know, that's good composure right there. He found a way to come back with another good pitch to get him to swing and miss. Darnell throws the first in time. Now only one out remaining. Ian Happ will hit next. And that's in there for strike one. Next offering we're misses. Gonna, we're going to let the Will count Smith is one and one. for two innings. That way. And here it comes. Yeah. And a count one and two. Just one strike away. Ground ball right side. On the first ball game. And the Braves slug their way to a Four Cubs. They got their butts kicked again. Stretch. Okay, we get to stretch. Just for you. All right. It's been a slow stream today. That's okay.
pineapple does not go on pizza emoji nauseated face uh, no it doesn't Uh, that's because it's the only pizza charm in the game. I know, but it's disgusting. I, I, does not go on pizza. They put pineapple. My niece likes it, but it's gross. I actually eat pineapple with pepperoni. That's exactly what you want. Sorry, Kyle, right? So you, in other words, in July, you want a uh, pineapple on your pizza? No. Okay. I will let Cry know that we got to get two pizzas, one with pep just pepperoni and one with pineapple. For you. Emoji nauseated face, emoji nauseated face, emoji nauseated face. Okay. I'm messaging Grandma right now. Grandma knows what I eat on my pizza. And here is Michael Conforto. Feel free to join the community at my Discord where all the latest stream information as well as other things that are going on at all times. That is back there. Pulls it in on the warning track. You saying Grandma likes that doesn't surprise Base is empty with two away. Michael Conforto next up for the Braves. That one blasted deep to right. That's back. Welcome Reaches to the screen, everyone. Please follow if you are not, which is 1003 free to do. Back here in if you really Louis, like the content, the fourth, subscriptions, this. I've been. That one out to right. Conforto makes his way towards it. Brings it in. And there's one away. Maybe caught that one off the end just a little bit. Couldn't quite barrel it up enough. To... David Peralta at the play. Oh, and two now. Out towards right center field. MOG balloon. Conforto MOG balloon. makes the catch. And a couple of quick outs. And here is Michael Conforto. And I did get it. Ball. I did get it. Martinez at first, one gone. And he's right here one time. Well, pretty clear to me, he was trying to go deep right there. But you've got to get a pitch that you can handle. And a foul ball, he stays alive. Come on, big guy, see it, drive it, right here. All right, come on now, one time, let it fly. Hey, let the can up there, huh? No one better. Righty to the plate. Stays alive. Five foul balls in a row. I have no idea what that feels like, but you got to love this battle. Just wondering who's going to blink first. In the air, right field, pretty well struck. That's back. And oh. that one is out of here. Michael Conforto blasts well, the one two out. that I don't like are, number five are locked. The season. They're, they're, Michael Conforto getting they're, ready they're to not hit. Available. They're looking not, for they're some not insurance. Gone. They're still there. Or as our friends disabled. down in the yeah. South would say, insurance. No matter how you say it, we know what you mean. Swings and lines a base hit into left field. Throw and it gets away. So Singy, let's dive into the numbers courtesy of Statcast. 
Do you even feel contact being made when you hit a ball that hard? No, I don't think so, Boog. I mean, that's just the best feeling in the world as a hitter. You square it up perfectly, and it's like you didn't even swing the bat. And there are times the ball feels heavy off your bat. You know it, but the book this is not. Out of the bottom of the eighth, to call now for St. Louis, Edmundo Sosa. Right-hander kicks deals. And that one is lifted in the air. Conforto makes the play. One down. So two down. Next is the designated hitter, David Peralta. The one-two. In the air, fairly deep to right field. Conforto gets under it. And that will end the inning. So the cards. So the Atlanta Braves promoted him, hoping he'd make an impact, and he delivered an impressive multi-hit game. For four game. Yeah, multiple hits. Yeah. Your first Cold time after getting called up. Not easy to do. And I remember my first game, it wasn't great, but the next time out, got a couple of knocks and was able just to get going and feel like a big leaguer. But that's one heck of an impression he's left today. Yeah, we collaborated. We found our passion in our relationship. Oh boy. They are putting me in a bad situation. Two on, nobody out. One run game. They're like, can you find the passion? Welcome back with Chris Singleton. I'm John Shambi. Thanks for joining us. Nobody out here in inning number eight. Zach Bunt towards third. Over to Swanson. He turns it. Throw to first, but he beat it. Here's Victor Robles. And first offering is fouled off. And now the lefty double steal. It's a squeeze. And he picks it up and he'll put it in his pocket. Lefty continues to work, but the closer getting loose in the bullpen. And a swing and a miss. Huge strikeout there. Toughest pitch to hit. Fastball on the outer black. Man, sometimes you just got to tip your cap. Looks like a pinch hitter for the Nationals. Lane Thomas. Two out opportunity for him with runners on the corners. Two on, two outs. And that one lifted in the air center field. And Acuna able to make the grab. And that is that. Ready to go for the last half of the inning. Here's Austin Riley. Vote. Yeah, the bottle of Austin. Ripped to third, and that one finds its way through. J.D. Martinez stands in. J.D. Martinez. Line drive. Can't get their base hit. Throw back in quickly. First and second now with nobody out. And it's a lead Miss Diaz. Now that, 
This one high in the air to left center. Robles racing over to make the catch. And he makes it up to third with one away. Drew Waters stands in. One for two. Now a screamer into the outfield. Oh, he botches it. Just a very nice approach and swing right there to use the big part of the field. Everything was on time. He stayed balanced through the entire swing and just launched that one into center. Now a fly ball to right center. Robles drifts towards it. Two away. Dansby Swanson stands in. Six can fly. The other way. And there's a base hit to right field. Hi, Grandma's in the house. And that's out number three, inning over. They pick up one How are one you doing, RBI Grandma? Single. Last chance coming up here. I cry. How are you doing? How's work? Cry, cry. Back here in Atlanta, now Jace Peterson. Henley Jansen into the game, and he'll do his best to hang on to this lead. I'm doing well. Michael Conforto, he's out in left field getting loose there as he enters the game on defense now. That's in for a strike. And he's down 0-2 as he swings through it. Jansen, he's one of those guys who uses the cut fastball as his primary offering. And when it's on, it can induce a lot of weak contact. And the late movement on the cutter is really what makes it so effective. Because as a hitter, you make a decision whether you're going to swing you get or your challenges take a pitch done, cry before on it Fortnite? actually gets into the zone. So that late movement causes it to miss the ball of the bat, sometimes miss the bat entirely. Pujols watches that one for a strike. Heading to somebody's house to fix a computer. Oh, she's got to go fix the computer. Uh-oh. What did we he said she's going to somebody's a house to fix the computer. Swing and a miss. Struck him yeah. out. Appar out apparently somebody was looking Just up too much porn. Got a virus. virus. To the slider, and now Cry has to, to go sit fix in it. Between. Just not okay. able to okay. put the bat on the ball. Mm -hmm. Garcia at the plate with two away. Swings through that one. Next offering is in for a strike. You know, they talk about cutters as being lane changers because right, you have to tell it's them more that, that side-to-side side movement on, on, uh, and very wrestling little sites, of the downward Look at tilt. pictures of Jeff Hardy. He's probably safer. You won't get a virus from that. Brother Nero. And a foul ball. He stays alive. And he deals. And a swing and a miss, and that is the ball game. Guess what? Hmm. We won again. Good. Thor gets the win. Because he is a, he is a mighty. Now we play the Dodgers. Do I get to face the Dodgers? Yes, I get to face the Dodgers. I get to say, fuck Freddie Freeman mm -hmm. again. Ooh, I gotta play as Matty Olsen now. Trevor Bauer against... Uh, ouch! That doesn't sound good. That ouch. That really hurt. Standing on the side of my knee when it was not laying on the ground really hurts. Base is empty one away, and here's the first baseman, Matt Olson. Matty O. Matt Olson. 
First nope. offering Ball. misses the mark. Part of the order coming through now, and with one home run already in this inning, they're definitely looking to do some more damage. Swung on, belted. That's back, and it's gone! Matt Olson goes deep, and just like that, they're out front. It's 2-1. Looks like this guy was looking out over the plate. Back here at the ballpark as we go to the last of the third. Here's Matt Olson. And first offering is fouled off. Been a rough start on the mound for this guy. His third inning so important for him to get on track, turn the page, settle in, do all those things you need to do to give your team a little ah. bit of length in this one. Next pitch has popped up. And Olsen is set down. And there's one down. These two offenses can put up. And welcome back. Bottom of the six. And now it's Matt Olson's turn to hit. The first well, they think you're Line to second. Down. Snagged on the bounce. On to first. Leadoff man retired in the sixth. Well, on the mound. Very That's efficient. Able to... Here's Cody Bellinger. And he's already singled in this game. Here's your one. And that one hit to first. They get the force. Out number three. I thought it was a double play. Come on, big guy. Back at Truist Park, bottom of the eighth. And now Matt Olson. The pitch. Yes, 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 we did. Hard hit, base hit. But people are not privy to the responses. By default, we, we will repeat that. This well, that at bat had a lot riding on it. Certainly a pivotal swing of the bat in this ball game. Everything was on time and fluid in that swing. Got a pitch you could get the barrel on and lined it into center for the knock. Those always feel good. Now a huge at bat in this game coming up. Pulls it down and he makes the catch. One away. Boy, that was a hanging breaking ball right there. I think he tried to do a little bit too much. Sometimes those eyes can get really big. I think his swing broke down as well, and that's what caused him to pop it up. The 0-2. Got him! And now two gone. Man, I really like the ability to bounce back right there after not getting the call. He probably should have gotten it. He didn't let it affect his focus, and he came back with another good pitch to get him swinging. Popped up left side. Vivas under it. Makes the catch in and over. Singy looking back on this one. Matt Olson had a nice game at the plate for them. Absolutely. And, you know, we talked about earlier how important he is to this club. And it's games just like this one. If he can do it consistently over the long run, I think he can really have a huge impact on this ball club. And I also think we'll see more of the same from him in the future. And I know, I know this, his teammates are hoping for that too. Okay. We've already won our division. Oh, we're going to we're going to growl like a dog again. Arr. Hi, Sal. How are you doing, Sal? How is Deadpool? Do, I hope you don't have a shiner. Scott. I hope you don't have a shiner tonight. Back brother said he was going to Superman Welcome punch in. you. John Chambi and Chris calling Singleton. Him a grandpa. We've got one Who out just here got in home inning from number work. seven. That's cool. Here's Ronald Acuna oh, Jr. at the plate. LOL. One home run shy of 200 for his career. In the air, center field. Base hit as he pulls up short. To the plate, and he's out. Here is Ozzy Albies up to hit. Yeah, I'm surprised we didn't see a visit from the pitching coach here. Just to remind him, focus on the hitter. Don't worry about anything else. And the 1-0. 
Bounce to third. Oh, great stop. And that's a nice play to end the inning. Welcome back. Here's the third baseman, Anthony Rendell. He swings and misses at the first pitch. 0-1. Sal, what do you think about WWE? They're bringing back a bunch of people tonight, apparently. Comes up empty on the swing. 0-2 now. Definitely not a pitch location you're expecting up there. Becky's back. You know Oscar's back. Ali's back. If you can get in that location, boy, you've got to look top to bottom, and that's going to make it very difficult to hit. And the righty deals. Got him. Down on strikes, and he knew it. Now it's Andrew Benintendi to hit. He's already homered in this game. Hey, Asuka, I wouldn't count Becky that one's in the in there, Benintendi, the Yeah, but oh, Becky's been gone about pick, a couple Golden weeks. Spikes Award winner. Becky's going to feud with Asuka. Oh, and two as he waves at that Kane's one. not going to do anything, I don't think. He's going to probably be Mayor Glenn Jacobs. Next one misses. Now one and two. Really good take, especially with two strikes. And a swing and a miss. Back-to-back -back strikeouts. You know, variant speeds can be just as useful for a pitcher as movement. As you see right there, it really was in a great location. But the fact that the velocity change had the hitter off balance, and that's all you got to do sometimes. Hedges lets that one go for a strike. Third trip to the plate for him here. And a pop-up right side, foul territory. Puts the squeeze on that one, and that'll end. Here comes Ryan Tapera to the hill. Hasn't pitched in the last three days. Ready to begin the eighth. Here is Matt Olson. And a pitch. Slow roll into first. Tosses to the pitcher covering the bag. And Olsen is set down. Here's Austin Riley. Here is Austin Riley. And fouled off. This is what happens. Just missed. If he's able to connect on that, look Hopefully out. Hopefully when uh, you piss off Austin, you hit a home run. And he's down 0-2 as he swings Not through. Not like that, though. Activity in the bullpen for the Angels. Shane Green getting loose out there. Suarez getting loose as well. One but I know some wrestlers empty. will turn their alignment soon. In the air on the yeah, infield. I read that, too. No trouble here. Puts it away for the out. Two down. And here is J.D. Martinez. First pitch doesn't find the zone. Vince is switching up starting from Raw tonight. Yep. I'll be curious to see who changes what. The next oh, offering man. misses. Now 2-0. Oh. Is there a little wrinkle to that? I think there was. Yeah. A little slider action. On the ground to third, and he grabs it in foul ground. Two and one to JD. In the air, right side. Marsh under it. He makes the grab, and the inning is. Joe Madden calling for a pinch hitter now. Mike Trout. He represents the go ahead run. That's in there. That's strike one. Trying to keep good speed off the bases. Next offering is in for a strike. Boog, that hook's looking pretty sharp today. Just a solid pitching performance so far, and I really think it's because of that curveball. Next pitch misses. One and two to count. Next offering is foul back. Clearly trying to stay back a little bit longer for that changeup as he fouls that fastball back. 
That misses. Now two and two. Fly ball down the line. It one hops off the wall. Should be extra bases. Safe at second with nobody out. And that double has the go-ahead run in scoring position. Runner in scoring position. No outs. Joe Adele, the next to hit for the Angels. Next pitch downstairs. And that is ball one. Yeah, Boog, if you're that base runner at second base, you want to be quiet out there. Not bouncing around, not distracting your teammate, the hitter. Make sure that he can clearly focus on that pitcher and that release point. Swing and a miss. Struck him out. Not what you're looking for after the leadoff double. A strikeout, and there's one away. Here's David Fletcher. In there for strike one. Not sure if he was expecting for the pitcher to come right at him, but he got a nice cookie there and just watched it the entire way. Swings, and this one's flared. Fletcher retired. Brandon Marsh steps to the plate. And the first pitch misses for ball one. You know, this guy's great speed is in the back of that pitcher's mind. If he can get on, it's going to give him one more thing he's got to think about. Hammer down the right side, but foul. Ah. Nine, and that's a base hit. Runner from third comes across. It's 3-2. Ah, I think I lost you the, the line drive the other way, you feel really good about okay. what you did at the plate. You trusted your hands, you let the ball travel, and you took the barrel straight to it. That's great work right there. And now they've got some speed on first, so we'll see if they try to get him into motion. Marsh, the runner at first with two gone. Got him. Good job of damage control right there. So one run in the inning on this base hit. Last chance coming up here for the Braves. Now we see Rysel Iglesias out of the bullpen. He's making his 50th appearance of the season. Kyron Paris. He's the new shortstop as he comes in as a defensive replacement here. The pitch. Now this is in the air down the line. March settles underneath it, calls it in, and there's one away. Drew Waters stands in. Slapped foul. The wind of the pitch. And that chance nope. handled. Tosses to first. And a couple of quick outs. And now it's Travis Darno with the play. Pinch hitter coming on, Eddie Rosario, looking for a two-out spark with the bases empty. Nope. Up the middle, Harris collects. Throw to first, in time, and this one is over. And the Angels hold yep. up. Failed. Wah, wah, wah. Bound to happen at some point. That's okay. We've already clinched the division, so it doesn't necessarily hurt us too bad. Wow, I'm going to lose the whole... Okay. here at the ballpark with Chris Singleton. I'm John Shambi. Thanks for joining us. Nobody out here in inning number eight. No outs. Runner at first. 
Matt Olson, the next to hit. Here's a rocket to right field. Hanniger puts the squeeze on that one, and there's one down. With a single base runner, because of all the power, they are dangerous to tie this thing up or take the lead. Swing and a ball lifted left field. Way back there. Oh. Oh. And Riley goes deep. Home run number 45 on the year. And they throw a pair on the board. It's 3-2. One out, base is empty. And now it's the Braves DH, J.D. Martinez. Line to left. Stanton makes the grab. And there's two down. Oledmis Diaz now. Puts it in the air out towards left center. Stanton makes a move towards the gap. Makes the grab, and that's the inning. But two come across to score in the inning, courtesy of this two-run homer. Last chance coming up here for the... And welcome back. And now the right fielder, Mitch Hanniger. Kenley on here. Trying to protect this lead. MR wise man indeed. Tribal Pitch. Chief in the house. And first offering is fouled. How are off. you doing, Tribal Chief? And a pitch. Swing and a miss, and that's strike two. We acknowledge you as the head of the table. That one fouled off. The master of the chicken dance. Strike three, got him swinging. And that's the first out. Been up now it's just six Allison's hours turn to him. What? 26 hours you've been up? Jesus, boy, you need to go to sleep. Couldn't go to bed last first night. Offering, misses Why not? One run sleep. game here at the top of the ninth. Swing and a miss. Slider right there. Next offering is in for a strike. Next one misses. It's two and two. The pitch. Chief was in God's mode. Just misses without one. Well, he's not afraid to fall into a two-strike count. Knows the strike zone very well. So much so that I think umpires will look at him and determine whether it's a ball or strike, if he swings or not. The tying run at the plate. Got him swinging. That's his second strikeout. This is definitely what a team likes to see out of their closer. Come in and just destroy all hope. First two batters, two strikeouts. See if he can strike out the side. I will sleep within six hours. He's got it. Ball game. Good. And the Good. Braves take the series opener here at... All right, here we go. Now we face the mighty, mighty Mets. Check out the crowd. Tomorrow, I am not sure what I'm streaming. It'll either probably be Dead by Daylight or this. Back here at City Field with Chris Singleton, I'm John Shabby. Thanks for joining us. Nobody out here in inning number eight. That's to third and a base hit.
Well, that at bat had a lot of pressure riding on it, so really great job coming through right there. It's got to feel good. Just one of those seeing eye base hits through the infield. He just kind of rolled over on it a little bit, but sometimes those can find a hole and get you a knock. Now a huge at bat in this game coming up. The Mets with a new arm on the mound, Nick Wickren. And he'll work on holding this lead. Nimmo brings it in, and there's one away. It was all over that fastball right there. I tell you what, if he gets under it just by a fraction of an inch or a little bit more, that's way back. That's ripped into the outfield. Ah! Pulls it in on the warning track. God damn Man, it. Man, he smoked that fastball. He's all over it. It's just frustrating when you can't get it to fall. Maybe next time off, he'll find a hole. Austin Riley next up for the Braves. Center field. Marte should have this one. Makes the grab. And that'll do it. One left for it. Ready for the bottom of the eighth. Here's the center fielder, Starling Marte. Next pitch is popped up. Swanson under it. Squeezes it. And there's one down. And now Brandon Nimmo. He's already homered here in this one. In the air, right field. Rosario settles under it. Puts the squeeze on it. Two down. And now it's the polar bear, Pete Alonso. First pitch, and that's in for a strike. Is there a little wrinkle to that? I think there was. Yeah. A little slider action. The lefty closing in on 100 pitches. Two down, nobody on. And a swing and a miss, and that's that. So here comes Ryan Presley to the mound. And he'll feature a hard slider to work off his fastball. We go to the ninth. Here's J.D. Martinez. And he grounds one back up the middle. Uh oh, can't pick it up cleanly to first. And he just gets it there in time. One away. Here's Marcelo Zuna. On the ground to third. Davis gloves it. Rolls across the diamond. Braves down to their final out. Deceptive slider right there. Stayed in the tunnel a long time. Got that hitter out front. Rolled over it. Put it on the ground. Now it's the right fielder, Eddie Rosario. Good power. Not great in the OBP department. One run game here in the top of the ninth. Come on, baby. This one is oh! smashed down the right field line. Way back there. Fair and Home run, baby. He'll touch them all. His 16th homer of the High year. Game. It's 3-3. Down to my That's last out. Home run of the last game. swing. They're and having a lot of fun at the plate fly. in this one. They've got the long ball working for them on autopilot. A good hitter gets pitch recognition early. He saw exactly where that was going to be. The challenge, not get over anxious and come out of your swing. He stayed on it and got all of it. Now time called at the plate. Here's Manny Pena. Popped up right side. Gonzalez under it. And that's the third out. Braves draw even on the solo homer. We're tied now with three apiece. Back here in Queens, and now J.D. Davis. At the bullpen is Will Smith. He's been so good against lefties. Well, I think that what makes him so tough against left-handers is he hides the ball for a long time. And from that same side, harder for you to determine which part of the plate it's going to end up on. 
just missed. If he's able to connect on that, look out. And a swing and a miss. And they get the leadoff man in the ninth. Now it's Dominic Smith. Just overmatched on that fastball right there, and it wasn't like he was set up for it by something off speed earlier in the at-bat. Just came right after him with three straight, and he had no answer for it. Left-hand batter waits. Swings through that. Gonna really need to hang in there with that front side against this left-handed breaking ball. And a swing and a miss. That's the second out. Now up to hit Francisco Lindor. He's turned into one of the best shortstops in the game. And first offering is fouled off. Hey, seven straight strikes to start the frame. He's got a chance at an immaculate inning. Next offering is fouled back. He'll two. Oh. Got close to the immaculate inning, and he just couldn't find the zone right there. When you think about it, nine straight strikes, so tough to do. What? Into the outfield, base hit. Not stopping, he's going for three. In safely with a two-out triple, and the go-ahead runs at third. So a runner at third, two men out. And here is Anthony Rizzo, one for three. And that's in there for strike one. Yeah, I'm surprised we didn't see a visit from the pitching coach here. Just to remind him, focus on the hitter. Don't worry about anything else. All tied up here the last half of inning number nine. Ah! Which misses, and that's ball one. That hits the dirt. Two balls, two strikes. At the belt and fires. Swing and a miss. Struck him out. And he's down on strike. We're in extras here. Dansby Swanson stands in. The pitch. Popped up. Foul territory behind the plate. And Swanson is set down. And a quick out. I'll be right back, guys. Okay, I'm back. There's always a concern when running over towards the dugout because of that on-deck circle. There's usually a bat, a weighted bat, a He's donut, a pine tar him. rag. Catchers have to be really heads up to avoid that stuff. Fought off foul. All tied up and here in extra innings. It's the other peanut gallery. The more aggravating. Now he breaks his bat. Presley makes the grab. And there's two away. Ozzy Albee's up to the plate. Come on, baby. Nope. Lifted in the air, right center field. Marte, as this one sized up, brings it in for the third out. Back here at the ballpark, on to the bottom of the 10th. Now it's the second baseman, Clifford Gonzalez. So they turn to Craig Kimbrell. Hasn't pitched in a while. He's had the last five days off. First pitch, and he just misses. Well, they've kept him pretty quiet in this series. Still doesn't have a knock. I know you want to get that first knock out of the way. Maybe more will come. But you got to give some credit to the pitching staff. They've had a great plan against him. Check swing. Now we'll look down to first. And he won around. Just enough that time. And the right-hander deals. Stays alive. Here comes a pitch. And down on strikes he goes. And one gone. 
Definitely made him chase a little bit out of the zone right there. I don't think that's a strike if he takes it. Pretty textbook pitching. Get ahead in the count, get the guy in the box on his heels, and then force him to chase your pitch where he doesn't have much of a chance to do any damage. Next offering is in for a strike. Line drive, base hit. There you go. Winning run is a swing, board swing, with one swing. down. Off the bat, it was headed for the gap all the way. And as a hitter, you love seeing those as you take your first couple of steps out of the box. You know you've got some real estate to run on. It's such a good feeling. Nice liner into the gap right there. And a pitch. I'm in a so bad spot right And now. no strikes. Good speed on the base pass. He handles the bat very well. I wouldn't be surprised if the skipper puts on some type of hit and run or a run and hit. Rosario pulls that one down, and there's two down. All right, now we're up there. Here's Brandon Nimmo. That one's in there, 0 and 1. Well, we call that key holding. Even though it's right there, it looks pretty. Kiermaier on the goal. Pitch in for a strike. We all got to pause on that thought, as that'll do it for the. Back now, we're in extras, and there's a new arm on the mound, Drew Smith. And he has some nasty breaking stuff. Tomas Nito, the new catcher now. And here it comes. Olsen Woo! chases after that one for a strike. Righty delivers. Swing and a tapper that rolls foul. He's got one already tonight. I wouldn't be surprised if he pops another one here. In the air, pretty deep out to center field. Smith on the move. Makes the grab, one down. Well, such a confidence boost for a reliever to come into the ball game and get the first hitter he faces. Just makes everything slow down a little bit, and then from there can really settle in. Out towards right center field. Nimmo has a beat on it. Makes the grab, and there's two gone. Here is J.D. Martinez. That one ripped. Way back there. Ah! it in on the warning track. I thought that one was gone. Set down one, two, three. Score remains tied at three. All set for the bottom of the 11th. And stepping in for New York, Brandon Nimmo. Here comes A.J. Minter to the mound. On for his 20th appearance of the year. He swings and fouls one off. Left-hand hitter waits. And that one fouled off. Next pitch off the play. And the count is one and two. Cut on and miss. Struck him out. And one out now. That cutter right there had just enough movement on it to get the swing and miss. It wasn't a great location by any means. That's typically a spot that hitters can handle. So I'd say he fooled him with just enough of that late action. Alonzo in the box now. Takes a cold strike. Next offering is in for a strike. All tied up. We are in the 11th. And a foul ball. He stays alive. Definitely got the hitter conscious of the pitch inside. Really think the outer half is open. Next offering misses. Ball. Yeah, the count one and two. Really good take, especially with two strikes. And that's ripped for a base hit. And it hits the fence. Throw to second, not in time. He's there easily. Man, those are the types of hits where you don't feel any vibration in your hands whatsoever. Such a good feeling. Textbook bat control right there. Got a pitch on the outside, saw it deep into the zone, and just barreled it up, went the other way for the knock. Winning run in scoring position now, so a clutch A-B could end this one. Comes up empty on the swing, 0-2 now. These home fans, they are making a lot of noise, putting pressure on that pitcher out there. One away. 
And the game-winning run stands at second. Strike. Check swing. Ah, oh, you... No, he held up. God damn that umpire. B-R-A-B-E-S, braids, braids, braids. Fires to first. We're trying, Mikey. How are you? Well, there's a lot riding on that at bat right there. Nice job of the pitcher to bear down, make the pitch, get the ground ball. Excellent piece of work. So up next for New York, Dominic Smith. In there, and it's 0-1. Winning run at third, two down. That smacked on a line to center. Under it is Acuna to make the grab. And that escaped out of Mark jail. Canna getting loose there. He's now in the game at first. New inning getting started. Now the left fielder, Marcelo Zuna. Come on, Ozuna. Smith back to work. Ball one there. You know, with the shift on, ah. it's right into it. Slings it across. One up, one down. How's the games? Not too bad. This is March to October. And next so. for Atlanta, Not too Eddie bad. Rosario. He's this already is year two this of game. March to October. And first offering is fouled off. All tied up here in extra innings. Swing and oh, this is ripped oh, down the right oh, field line. Oh, Way oh. back there. Out of here. He did it again. He sends it out of here. His 17th of the year. It's 4-3. No doubt in my mind, just about everybody in this ballpark holding their breath on that one. I tell you, just barely snuck it inside the yes, foul sir. pole and Talk about a huge swing. That's it in this ball game. Could be the biggest swing of this ball game. We'll see. Stepping in, Manny Pena. Gonzalez pulls it down, and there's two away. Two outs, base is empty. And now the shortstop, Dansby Swanson. What a season it's been for him. He has supplied a lot of power and that average. Rolled over ah. to third. Davis with the throw to first. And Swanson is set. Hopefully. Bottom of the inning, and now it's Frankie Lindor. Henley Jansen into the game. He last pitched four days ago, so he should feel pretty fresh. And he deals. That one misses. 1-0. Oh. Next offering is foul back. The wind Come on, Canley. Swing at a ball lifted to center field. And Acuna able to make the grab. Lindor retire. One down. Anthony Rizzo steps to the plate. In there for strike one. Oh, and two as he waves at that one. A one-run lead. And the home team trying to pull it out. Swings and misses. Two gone now. Here's the second baseman, Clifford Gonzalez. And there's a foul ball. Rizzo on the net. Yeah. The one is outside. This is the second season, so a lot of players move. Aaron Judge went to Seattle in free agency. So, a foul ball makes it one and two. Just one out away, trying to close it out. And that one is lifted in the air. He's got it, ball game. And the Braves finally put an end to this one in 12. MOG pensive face. Yeah, the Yankees, they lost a lot of players. They stole one from me, though. They took Adam Duvall from me. I tried to resign him in free agency, and the Yankees offered more money. I was a little upset about that one. So I tried to sign Judge out of retaliation. He took Seattle instead.
Is Stanton still on the team? Yes. Yes. Yes, Stanton's still with the Yankees. So, like, here's my lineup. I got Acuna, Albies, Olsen, Riley, Mart J.D. Martinez I signed. I needed an outfielder to replace Duvall, so... Everybody kept turning me down, so I wound up with J.D. Martinez. There's Zuna, Eddie Rosario, Travis Darno, Andrew Swanson. Then Drew Waters, Manny Pina. I signed Michael Conforto at the end of... Free Imagine agency. he does go to Seattle next season. Garcia. This dude here, they stuck on me. I did not want him, and I cannot get rid of him. Almedes Diaz. And my rotation is Freed, Soroka, Anderson, Cindergaard. I traded for Zach Wheeler at the deadline. And then I managed to keep my bullpen together. Yeah, the Yankees, uh, hold on, let me see if I can't show you where they are. There's the Yankees, they're in second, second place. At 78 and 68. Uh, they only have two wild cards still. But a Yankee. I hope Judge resigns with the Yankees in free agency. So, right now it looks like the Yankees aren't making the playoffs. All right, guys, I think that's where I'm going to end it for today. Like I said, there's a good chance I'll be streaming this again tomorrow, though. Uh, either this or DVD. So let's see who's on to read. Uh, I think I know who I want to read. So please stick around for the raid. We are raiding Shay's puppy. So make sure you guys go in and check out Alex and tell him he is grounded. <laughs>